G'day guys, Greg here. Now it's product review time and today I'm going to be reviewing this product right here. Core Power Foods Going Nuts. Crunchy Satay Chicken with Rice and Green Beans. Mmm, that sounds alright. Except for the rice and green beans. <laughs> now this is only 350 grams and it's going to set you back about 10 bucks 50 at full price. Now, it does say crunchy satay chicken, so I am wondering how much chicken is actually in it. Well, let's find out. Well, ingredients, 28%. And it just says green beans, rice, sauce, with some stuff there, and some sunflower spices, garlic, ooh, yum. And then uh, peanuts is 1.7%. Now, this is one of those health foods, so it's probably high in this and low in that. But let's see how high and low it is. Well, energy is 2,070 kilojoules, which means you could only eat like four of these every day and still have a body like the old grey guy. Protein's pretty high at 13%. Fats, 3.4%. Carbs, 13%. Woo! Sugar's only 2%. And salt, who cares, mate? You're probably going to add some more salt anyway. But how about we crack this off and see what it looks like out of the packaging. <laughs> Well, that slides off very easily. And, well, that's what it looks like. It looks like the chicken there, rice and beans. Hmm. Interesting. All right. Well, how do we cook this stuff? This product must be fully cooked from frozen prior to consumption. Can you imagine trying to eat it frozen? <laughs> Maybe in Alaska they might. It's probably normal for them. Cooking instructions. Remove frozen meal from outer cardboard sleeve. Microwave meal on high for six minutes. Remove from microwave and allow to stand for two minutes. Caution, contents will be hot. Be careful to avoid steam burns. Once cooked, consume immediately. Do not refreeze. Gee, that sounds easy. You don't even have to pop a corner. You don't have to do nothing. But stick it in for six minutes. Oh. This is a very easy frozen meal. All right, well, here it is. Now, I didn't get any smell of anything until I opened the microwave door and then I got this nice curry smell. Can't see much. Now, we have to be very careful about opening this because I have been burnt by these before. So I'll put some protection on. Mmm, oh boy. That looks pretty good. But does it look anything like the picture? <laughs> well, uh, maybe in an alternate universe it might. But, well, I've, I've, if you put some of that red chilli on top, I'm sure it might. Seems like a lot of beans there. And there's, down the bottom here, mate, there is a lot of liquid too. Ooh, that'll dilute flavour. And the rice, well, some of the flavour of the chicken's gone on the rice there. But again, wow, there is lots of liquid. It is very liquidy. Hmm. And, well, there seems to be plenty of chicken there. Lots of big pieces. And the 1.7% nuts. There's little bits of that in there too. Well, it's looking all right. Except for all this water that's in it. Boy, that is a lot. But how about we start off with some of this chicken? There's actually some nice big chunks in here. Mmm. Oh. It's actually got a nice satay flavour about it. It is very dry though. <laughs> Which is amazing considering how much water is in this. A little chewy and dry. What about this rice? Tastes like white rice with some bean juice on it. <laughs> Make of that what you will. And these beans. Mm. 
quite overcooked. Very soft, but easy enough to chew. And, well, anyway, let's see if there's like some sauce or something in this chicken. I don't think there is. We'll just try a mouthful. Hmm. There's a little bit of sauce there. Maybe it's just water mixed in with the chicken. But it tastes pretty good. It, it tastes like a fairly mild uh, sauteed chicken. The flavour of it's pretty authentic tasting. It tastes pretty nice. There's no real sauce though in it, so it's not a saucy mix. But I'm guessing that's because it's mainly a protein sort of power food mix. So that's what you want. More protein, less other things like sugars and all those other things you don't want. But uh, the flavour of it's pretty nice and mixed together. quite nice. You do get the odd nut in there, but the flavour of it's a little sweet, a little savoury. It's not overly satay, but there is a little bit of satay flavour in there and altogether it tastes pretty good. Those beans though, they are very soggy and watery and the rice is bland, but the chicken itself is tasty and, well, if I was needing to lose weight, which obviously I'm not, right? Please say yes. I think this is a pretty good meal. It's pretty tasty and, well, 10 bucks 50, it's, it's a little over the top in price, but you just need to wait till it goes on special and pick some up. It's actually a pretty nice meal and it is something that I would get again. And not only does it feed you, but there's enough water in there to rehydrate you after a big old workout. <laughs> Once the core power food's going nuts, not too bad. It could be better though. <laughs> but it's edible and if you're into the fitness thing, it's probably worth a try. Well, I hope this video helps you decide what to try, what to buy and what to avoid. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. I eat some healthy food from the frozen section of the supermarket. See you then. Ooh yeah, this is Greg's Kitchen where the reviews are finger licking. Ooh yeah. Now just to let you know that uh, I've eaten most of it and well the water seems to have disappeared. It must have been soaked up by well something but there were some big chunks of fat in there which I just couldn't eat. But it's Incredible, where'd that water go?